One of the first things that you learn to do in a calculus class is how to evaluate a limit. And I want to show you how to evaluate limits algebraically. Now, I've divided evaluating limits algebraically into two categories. Sometimes you can use continuity and sometimes you can't. So I'm going to go over the cases where you can use continuity and, uh, and then later I'll go over the ones where you can't. Let's start with the definition of continuity. Let's remind ourselves, a function f is continuous at a point x equals a. Uh, then limit as x approaches a of f of x equals f of a. What this means is when you're evaluating limits, you can basically plug in the value. As x approaches a, you can plug in the a value into f of x, and that's the value of your limit. You can only do this for continuous functions, but luckily a lot of the functions we deal with are continuous. Here's an example. This looks like a terrible limit. Limit as x approaches negative 2 of x squared plus 8x minus 20 over x minus 2. Now this is a rational function, so it's going to be continuous everywhere it's defined. And it's only undefined for x equals positive 2. Right? So this is continuous for x not equal to 2. Well, we're letting x approach negative 2. We're, we're pretty clear uh, away from positive 2. So I can evaluate this limit by plugging in. So this limit is going to equal negative 2 squared plus 8 times negative 2 minus 20 over negative 2 minus 2. So I just have to do this arithmetic, right? I have 4 minus 16 minus 20, and I have negative 2 minus 2, negative 4. Now what do we have on top here? 4 minus 36, negative 32 over negative 4. This is 8. And so the value of the limit is 8, right? Now, here I use continuity. You use continuity whenever you have a continuous function, you just plug in the value of the, the, the number a, whatever x is approaching, into the function and evaluate it. Now, if that doesn't seem to work, like if you get division by 0 when you do that, then the function is not continuous at that point, and you have to use some other method.